good morning peace and blessings y'all it's your girl kim it is officially nine shopping days until my birthday and i have not quite made it home i'm landed back i've landed back uh in my hometown from my business trip my day started at 3 30 a.m and uh it is now about 11 o'clock here in atlanta so uh, i haven't quite made it home but i'm almost there but, you know, I typically share what I have for breakfast, but being that it's 11 o'clock, there was no breakfast. So today was a quote unquote unscheduled intermittent fasting day because I've just been in the airport since about 6 a.m. So, like I said, things happen and uh, there weren't many choices in the airport in the area that I was in in Nebraska. So, uh, you know, I did not have any breakfast. I had a bottle of water before I left to head to the airport, and that was about it. So, like I said, intermittent fasting for today, for this morning. Uh, am I hungry? Absolutely. So, when I get home, I'll, uh, you know, grab lunch, and uh, I've got probably about another 15 or so minutes before I make it home. So, and then I've got some um, errands to run, so just going to see how that plays out, but whatever the choice is, it's going to be, you know, again, a healthy choice, but today, no breakfast to report, but just some intermittent fasting, and, you know, sometimes those things are going to happen, and uh, for me, that's going to work. I'm okay with intermittent fasting sometimes. It's good because it does help to reset the body, especially if, you know, you've had some processed food. Now, we know last night I had that uh, healthy choice meal, and, you know, those prepackaged meals tend to have sodium in it and things like that. So, you know, having a little bit of, of, of flush behind that or having a little bit of an intermittent fast behind that uh, definitely is not going to hurt. So, I'm in good spirits. I'm okay. And uh, I'll catch up with you guys once I determine what I am having for lunch. My husband and I are finally back in town together. So, <laughs> uh, you know, he's like, hey, let's go and grab something. So, you know, I'm going to have a little powwow with him and see what we're going to do with regards to to uh, lunch. And uh, I'll let you guys join me once I figure it all out. <laughs> so until I see you in a little bit, I'm going to let the sun get out of my eyes and talk to you soon. Peace. Peace and blessings, y'all. I have actually made it home. And it's still around 1130, so I decided to go with the breakfast route and uh, decided to eat at home because I just thought there was going to be a better choice. And again, like I said, it's all about choices. So I went with my old faithful. I've got some egg whites here and there's a little bit of turkey sausage in there. I've got my <clears throat> Dave's bread, which I said is about 70 calories a piece. So I have some bread. You see, I got a little bit of um, butter on there and I just had a um, little mandarin orange. So or the little... Uh, I can't remember what the name of those oranges are, but yes, they're like little mandarin oranges. And of course, I've got my bottle of water there, okay? And my spirit wanted a cup of coffee today, because usually when I'm cold, I like a cup of coffee. But if I drink a cup of coffee, I'm going to put that um, Splenda in there. I'm going to put some coffee creamer in there. And those are not things that I want to have often or I want to get used to having as a part of my diet. I'm really trying to stay away from having too many of the artificial sweeteners and things like that. So I'm going with my bottle of water and I'll be drinking my water throughout the day. So like I said, I had a little bit of an intermittent fasting until now. I'm going to eat my egg whites and my toast here. And then um, I'll probably end the day with, uh, you know, a little more of a heartier dinner to have. And that'll be it for the day. Or if I have snacks, I'll probably or if I have a snack in between because it's a weird timing type of situation here and I've got some errands to run so if worse comes to worse I may just grab a snack and that snack will probably consist of some uh, you know some raw vegetables just you know like a little vegetable blend usually what I'll do is I'll get a little bag of the carrots uh, broccoli and cauliflower and I'll have that and you know just have the little uh, little dipping sauce that comes with it and that will be my little snack if I need something to tide me over till dinner or if I'm still in the streets or I'm running these errands then I may pick up a protein shake and uh, that'll do me good or what I'll do is I'll pack some protein powder 
and bring one of my shaker cups and a, and a bottle of water and I'll make my own protein shake. You know, so like I said, I have choices. The day is still relatively young, so we'll see how things work out. Sometimes things are planned, sometimes they're not. And this is my life. This is how, you know, my days go, and it's not always easy. But this is what I'm going to have for now, and uh, I'll figure it out on the flip side. So until I see you guys a little later, peace. Peace and blessings, y'all. It's your girl, Kim, and I am here with my lunch. I am having it at Jason's Deli with my husband. And I just want to show you what I'm having. I have the um, salad bar, so you will be able to create your own salad. You make one trip. And so I have this beautiful, robust salad that I've made with all of the veggies and green car or carnivorous <laughs> things that I can have. But I also added a side of salad, I mean, of salmon. And then I've got two little corn mu bread muffins and little, uh, um, I don't know what kind of muffin that is, but it looked good. And just a few little grapes there. And then I have a Coke Zero because I wanted to have a little something different. So this is my lunch for today. For to digging in and I will see you all for dinner. Till I see you then, I say peace. Hey y'all, it's your girl Kim. And I came back because I didn't realize how late it was when I ate earlier. And so because I had that big bountiful salad with all of those vegetables in there and that nice piece of salmon, I'm still full. And right now it is almost nine o'clock and so i am done for the day i finished eating before eight o'clock or before seven seven or around seven thirty i finished eating and so i'm done for the day i am done so that was my meal so i had my egg whites and what have you for a, a late lunch and then uh you know like i said ran some errands and then went and had a beautiful bountiful salad and that lovely piece of salmon so that was it for the day and again i'll do some light stretching before i go to bed and start this new week that's coming up and uh you know we'll start going into the home stretch towards my birthday so i'm excited about that again make sure you're making good choices make sure you're not drinking your calories you know i had that coke zero earlier and it was just nice to have that little bit of sweet. Every now and then it's okay to have a little something. But, you know, I'm really working a lot towards moving away from those, um, you know, sugary drinks and things like that. I, I drink primarily water. But every now and then I want something sweet and I like the Coke Zero. But still, at, at the end of the day, if you would drink those things consistently, you know, there are chemicals in it. Even though there's zero calories and all that stuff. There are chemicals in that, in those drinks like that that make you crave sugar. So you have to be careful about things like that. But it's all about educating yourself about food and educating yourself about what it does to your body. You know, and I'm learning that and that is a part of my ability to coach myself and others on health and nutrition because I'm learning that our bodies are complex and there are certain things that you can do that are going to support your your wellness and your health. And it's important that, uh, you know, you gain that knowledge because knowledge is power. We hear that all the time. So that is my little spiel for today. I hope that you'll have a wonderful evening and a wonderful week ahead of you. You know, make sure that you challenge yourself. Do something new. You know, start an atomic habit. Do something that you have not done before, whether it's nutrition wise, whether it's spiritually wise, whether it's uh, mental wise, mentally wise, <laughs> that's a word, uh, and, and just start, you know, working on your overall health. Okay. And until I see you the next time, have a great night and I say peace.